Welcome to Go. You weren't ready for that, were you? I wasn't ready for it. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. I am Mark Cook. This is Busy About A. And we are super excited, if you can't tell, because we are on the verge of 4th of July weekend, and we're all getting a little crazy in here. We'll start things off right, because we're getting ready to talk about some pizza. I got Picasso in the house. His name is Joe Calacura, and he is the owner of Picasso Pizza. Good morning, Joe, and welcome. <clears throat> Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, listen, Joe, I'm going to let everybody know if they recognize you, it's because you were on a couple weeks ago that's with cool. your egg rolls, which are awesome, yep. and that's uh, GetEggRolls.com. Yes, sir. So, yep. yeah, it, we're talking about pizza today, but trust me. Joe makes a really good egg roll too, too. so check out GetEggRolls.com. So let's talk about Picasso Pizza today. Yep. Tell me about this place. Picasso. Yep, Picasso. Where did you come up with this name, Joe? <laughs> That's a funny story. Everyone thinks my last name is Picasso, but it's not. So my dad started uh, the pizza shop about 22 years ago, and it was originally called Paisano's Pizza. Okay. And he had a partner, and a couple years in, it just didn't go well. So uh, part of the agreement was uh, my dad had to change the name. Well, we already had a customer base at the time, so we didn't want to go too deviate too, too far, far from like, right. the sound of Paisano. So he literally just picked the name Picasso. <laughs> Nothing to do with anything. Just really? Kept it with a P and tried to keep it as simple and. He's not all art, right. He's not an artsy guy. Yeah. See, I'm gonna. All right. Let's. I'm gonna change the story. Let's change the story for you. So, your father one day was was making a pizza, and he thought to himself, "Wow." This is really like a work, work of, of art, art exactly. right? This That's is like a work of happens. art. And as he was working the dough and kneading the dough and throwing it up in the air, he thought to himself, I feel like an artist. Right. Who is the artist I want to most emulate? Pablo Picasso, right? right. Nobody right. better than him. Right. Right. And hence, Picasso's Pizza was born. Right. What That's a way better story. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, but talking about the pizza, the, 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 look, you guys wouldn't be around for so long if the pizza wasn't so good. No, right. And that's the, that's the most important thing. Obviously, you guys have a full menu. You have all your stuff is great. You actually sell the egg rolls over there, too, which is cool. Right, right. As an appetizer at the shop. Yeah. But the pizza, man, the pizza is really what makes it. So talk about why your dough is different. What, what is the sauce different? Is it the cheese? Is it where you're getting it from? What is it, Joe? What makes right, it so well, good? I mean, there's a lot of aspects to go in to make a pie. Obviously, that's why everyone's pizza is different. But for us, it was always use the best stuff. Because you can't sacrifice quality, like to uh, you know, some people try to use or cut. There's so many different products out there. Yeah. There's easy ways to cut corners on everything. Right. But it's just one thing my dad always said was you just wanted to use real fresh and you know quality ingredients, especially when it comes to the tomato products. Same thing with the flour. Right. You'd be surprised how many different variations of products there are out there. You know, there's so many different cheeses, so many different flours. And tomato products and all that stuff. So once you develop a recipe that really works for you, number one, you don't ever want to change it. Even though sometimes it, um, over the course of years, when things spike up and the market rises, right. some people always look for ways. It's to very bring tempting. Down, it's right? very tempting for a business owner to maybe take a shortcut or get a lesser product. Okay, well, look, sauce is sauce, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna get a lesser sauce. I'm gonna save a few pennies each pie, and then in the long run, it's gonna affect my bottom line. Sure. But you know that that's not necessarily now, because, the right way to think. Because your customers will know. Yeah. Your customers will know. It's so funny. A simple thing like French fries one time. Um, we had gotten substituted a bunch of French fries that were similar to the ones we were using, but different. And right away, the customers knew right away. And I'm on the phone with my supplier. Like, dude, you got, I don't care what happened on your end. you got to give me my French fries back. Because your customer really knows, and they'll tell. Yeah, well, I mean, in something like a French fry, like if you if your place, if I really like your fries, I'm coming there for your fries. Right. Yeah. So when they're different, obviously, I'm like, wait a second. I, I came here for my fries, and they're different. Joe, what happened? So that, yeah, it does, call, it does cause an issue. Yeah. And then also, I think you want to keep in mind that you guys are from up here. I'm not. Like, there's way more pizza places up here yeah, than yeah. in other areas. And, like, I mean, we're used to you guys, you know, pizza and all the change or whatnot. Right. But when we come up here, you guys are serious about your pizza. Like, people yeah. up here know the difference yeah. between, you can tell. So if you're doing well in pizza and you're making a really good pizza, it means a lot more making it in Jersey. That's, that's a great point. Than yeah, that, it does, like, say, Virginia or yeah. the Carolinas. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's an interesting point because up here it's so dense and so there's yeah. so, um, mm -hmm. such a high volume of competition. Of them, yeah. And when you go outside the area, 
it's really hard mm -hmm. to find like that classic pizza that you get up here other than you sometimes your only option is a chain restaurant yeah because it just can't they but have you seen how they make have you seen how they, my, when we were back in um college my husband my now husband worked at a chain okay. restaurant he used to explain to me how cheap it was yeah. to make the pizzas and how they would have these pre-made yeah. balls of oily dough right. and that's what they actually yeah. use but you guys aren't you guys now, aren't pre-packaged <laughs> no we do everything in the shop make our dough in the shop make our sauce in the shop cheese comes i mean we shred it but um you can even buy pre-shredded cheese now yeah. yeah you can almost buy anything yeah. at any level of quality anymore like, yeah it's so kind of it, it, out there. it's crazy because there are uh, and i know i can taste the difference when guys start to cut corners I, I know there was one place i was ordering from i felt like the dough was really fresh and good and then i ordered a pie and i was like they changed it they either got frozen dough or something is different in the process and i just because there's so many places i just started ordering from somewhere else right, right. because that's that's what happens but you guys have been around for so long you've weathered the storm of watching a lot of other places come and go okay. and when you have such a stranglehold over your business and you understand how much of everything you need you can keep your inventory fresh because right. you have a much better understanding of how much product you're actually putting right. out exactly right like all my orders are based on like from doing it so long you get you know used to the cycle you know how much you need and, and what you need to right. order for every week yeah i mean and it's going to change a little bit here and there right sure. so like Absolutely. this weekend you're going to be probably a little bit busier right right because it's fourth well, of july or today will probably be the busiest because it's if they're calling for a nice weekend you know, so you might get part of the that barbecues vaca and all that. Everybody's in that yeah. vacation mode. Yeah. I know I for the kids. Too, kind of. yeah. All the kids are like, um, I don't know about your kids. Right? The kids, they don't really want to eat around bones and chicken and stuff like that. Right. So we have barbecue for the grown-ups. And then you order a pizza, pizza for, for the kids. kids. Yeah, that's have fun over there. Yeah. You're not going to waste all the hard work. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah that, it is. And it's a, and it, look, it's a way to keep the kids happy because, you know, because they don't, they don't want to deal with the real adult food all the time. They don't appreciate it either, because it's gracious. That's a good idea, so that's a, that's a good idea to, if you're doing a barbecue, order a Picasso pizza for the kids and tell them to be quiet and go eat your pizza. Yeah, yeah, over there at the kids' team. Yeah, so <laughs> we're, rough, we're up against a break, Joe, but look, the pizza is obviously what, stand, what stands out over Picasso's, but start thinking about some of the other items that you want to highlight that we want to talk about in the next segment, because I know you guys do really good wings over there, too. So yeah, we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with Joe from Picasso Pizza. Stick around. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above.
Extra innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi tunnels, and training rooms. Extra innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. And welcome back to Morning Coffee. I'm Diz. Mark's still here, and we still have Joe Calacuro with Picasso's Pizzeria. Yes. And we just were talking about the pizzas and how it's fresh. And it's probably the closest thing you're going to get to homemade without it actually being made in your home. Right. And Mark and I, we want to know more about the other options. I hear you guys have some awesome wings. Yeah, our wings are really popular. We've, you know, we've been selling them for years, and we use a specific type of wing, and we make the hot sauce in-house. Mm -hmm. And we go through quite a bit of them. They're really meaty. They're not like the real small. They're the huge. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. that's what you really want to highlight is yeah. how big they are. They're they're. Yeah, they it's are. not. They're like they're like wings, but they're like chicken wing like wings. Yeah. They're the whole wing. Yeah, they're on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're growth hormones, right, or something. Yeah. They, they are. They, well, look, just because they're big, that doesn't mean necessarily. Right, that doesn't always no, translate. No, I, right, but right. they, but they are. They're that. They're big, yeah, and well, they're that good. Right, because you, you want meat on the bone. You don't want to be messing around with this little chicken wing. There's mm -hmm. no meat on there, and yeah. you, you know, and you get ten piece, and they're like in this little tiny container. Like Ninety percent nah. sauce. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Now nah, you want you want some meat on the bone. You want to enjoy the wing. Like I said we don't we don't um, bread them. Put like oh. a light coating of flour, gives them a little crispiness in the fryer. Not like a heavy heavy right. breading though. No. Just for extra crunch. Right? And, that's, and, then, and that's key. Yeah. You fry them, you don't bake them. Yeah, definitely got to fry them. Exactly. I mean, these, you, you don't need all bread. Nah, We're nah. Not, we didn't ask for chicken tenders. Of course. Oh, right, right, right. 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 You of course, you want some wings. So, so to the egg roll concept, like I said, you want the, the wing to be the star of the show, not the outside. Exactly, the outside. exactly. Yeah. They put all these this celery and this other stuff around it. But let's talk about your sauces, because you do mm. a lot of good sauces over there, too. Yeah, we have a hot sauce or a traditional medium. We can make it hotter. We do honey barbecue, barbecue, and garlic. And hot. Well, the garlic and hot, right? That's yeah. like th this is like the trendy wing sauce. This is what everybody yeah, garlic, is moving towards. Garlic. And I'm working on a garlic farm. I got a lot of customers been begging me for a garlic farm, and I, I've been toying around with some of them. I just don't have one yet, that because we go through a lot of wings. So when we make our sauces, we make them in, in high volume. Right. You know? Right. Um, so I haven't gotten one set yet that I'm comfortable with that we can make on a bigger. So scale. you're like the scientist with the goggles on yeah. and the big vat, and right, you're stirring exactly. it up and you're tasting. Like I, said, I yeah. pictured Breaking Bad in my head, but I know that <laughs> that's not the right that's well, not the right way to look at it. But right, before <laughs> I start selling something, I want to be confident in it. Right. So yeah, you know, I don't want to just put something out there and then you know people. He just wants to eat more chicken wings. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah right? that's what it is, right? And yeah, but that's... The research but it, and development goes No, yeah, but right? you talk about that process, and that's important for people to understand how much time and effort you're putting into, you know, the products that you're putting out. I mean, you're not just putting out a product to put it out. People are requesting this garlic parmesan sauce for your wings. How easy would it have been for Joe just to either grab one off the shelf and, and start right. selling it? Or come up with a recipe and just start selling it, right? right? That, that would have been the easy thing to do. It's a lot yeah. harder to perfect it and make sure that it's the highest possible quality that you want it to be. Right, exactly, and, and that's why I don't. I'm working on it now. We got some new menus going to be coming out in September, and my goal is to have it done by then. This way, it goes on the new menu, and we start rolling. Well, let's. It. Well, wow, well, you just—that's a revelation here. So let's talk about it. Are we talking about new, like a lot of new items? Or yeah, I want to add some new concepts, some things that we. Could have been doing already, but you know they're starting to become popular, or people asking. We're just fresh on up the menu. Like I said, we've been in business a long time, and you know so you got to stay ahead of the curve. So, right. um, you know our menu's been generally the same for a little while, maybe a couple tweaks here and there. But I really want to venture into some some new and different ideas. Well, I'm I'm like getting excited here, and I'm thinking like, are you talking like hybrid, like 
really out of the box type stuff? Well, like or? I wanted to start making some, uh, I guess I'd call them fancier salads and uh, some more intricate dinner options. Great idea. Some different pastas with some sauces. I mean, we do dinners now. Right. Pretty much basically, like I said, we make everything there, like marinara, all Real of our traditional. Sauces, Real traditional. Real traditional stuff, I, right? Right, more Spaghetti traditional. Spaghetti and meatballs. Exactly. Right. You know, chicken farm and all that stuff. But I want to get in, involved in some more in-depth options. That's great. And that's exciting for your customers because, look, Pizza places are established, and she talked about how many pizza places we have around here in the South Jersey area, and all the menus are very, very similar. Right. So if you could find a way to kind of step outside of that box, pun intended, boom, <laughs> uh, yeah, right? You, you step yeah, no, outside exactly. of that box a little bit, you offer some different items and all that, it's a, it's a win for you guys because yeah. you still have your great pizza and your great wings and the great staples of Picasso's, but then... I'm going to be able to come in and get a salad on steroids or, right. you know, a different type of dinner that I could get at, at maybe a finer Italian restaurant. Now I can get it at Picasso's when I'm picking up my pizza or my other stuff. Right, exactly. Right. That's, what I was, that's what I want to do. Just freshen up the menu and add some items that we didn't offer before. But now you can get everything in one place. So how about the egg rolls? Are, you gonna, are, are we going to do an egg roll push as well? Well, the egg rolls, I, I, I like to keep just the flavors we have. Uh, at the shop, the pizza buffalo and the uh, cheesesteak. Okay, at so the shop. Right, right, right. Well, the egg rolls. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get involved in some other things with the egg rolls. Uh, well, I meant, that. I meant that like you're gonna you you could get the egg rolls at the shop, but yeah. when you when you up up the menu, are you going to add more or make them more like readily available? Because I know that you know the egg rolls is kind of your your thing, right? And then the shop, yes, you sell them there, but it's you're trying to kind of keep them a little yeah. bit separate. So yeah, I'm just wondering if that dynamic is going to change. Nah, we're just going to keep the three at the shop, only because with, with all the other preparation that goes into the mm. shop, right. it's hard to stay on top of even more egg rolls, because we do sell a lot of egg rolls at the shop. Oh, okay, So we're good. constantly making them throughout the week, and the add flavors would just kind of maybe get in the way of some right. things. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So the bottom line, and that's great to hear, I'm really glad that they're, that they're selling a lot of egg rolls, because I got to try them, and man, they are so good. So, so if you're if you're listen, open up two new tabs. One tab, go to Picasso's Pizza NJ, right? Yes, dot com. Exactly. That's the Picasso site. And then go to getegrolls.com on the other site, and you'll be able to line up the menus and you'll exactly. be able to look and see everything that they have. And you gotta try it because it's 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 the best stuff. Now yeah. I put Biz at a disadvantage because now she knows how good it is, but she's from Delaware, right? So right. we got to figure out how we can get her some of the stuff from Picasso's, yeah. right? Yeah, Delaware's yeah. not that far. Yeah, we'll make yeah. we'll make it happen. I'm thinking next time we have Joe come in, he's gonna bring, he's yeah. gonna like we're gonna make pizzas and we're gonna do we're all gonna sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, well the only problem is we can't cook them. Right, that's, that's why I didn't. I was gonna yeah. bring some stuff to demonstrate. Yeah, but I'd like to see Biz yeah. throwing up some dough. Yeah. Right, my nails are gonna poke right through it. Oh. See, they always make me they always make me do all of like the goofy stuff. They throw flour at me, <laughs> right? Bird my shoulder. <laughs> they put birds all over me. Let's make Biz throw some pizza dough I'll, around. I'll That'll be it. That, that sounds like a plan. I will be Joe. Pizza Joe, we are flying along here this morning. I got, I'm up against another break. Okay, we're going to take another one, then we're going to come back, and then we're going to wrap up. We're going to keep talking about Picasso's and, and, and make sure that everybody out there gives it a shot. So stick with us through the break. It's going to be a quick one. You guys know. We'll be right back on the Radio Vision Network. Stick around. Today's show is sponsored by Hardgrove Demolition, your demolition experts. Hardgrove is a family-owned and operated business right here in the southern New Jersey area, bringing you 45 years of demolition expertise. Hardgrove has all your demolition needs, from emergency demolition service to demolition equipment rental. Hardgrove is one of the state-approved recycling facilities right here in the southern New Jersey area. No job is too big or too small for Hardgrove Demolition. Contact them today at one of their three locations. When I was injured, I couldn't play basketball for my entire sophomore year. After years of wear and tear, I knew something was seriously wrong with Deja's knee when the swelling wouldn't go down. Young athletes are still growing. They need specialized care only available here at Dayton Children's. I wanted the best care for Deja because I wanted her to return to the thing that she loves to do, and that's basketball. At Dayton Children's Sports Medicine, we're treating tomorrow's champions. Right care. Right now. Right here. Dayton Children's. Just right for kids. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. 
It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's right. We are farmers, baby. You know what I'm thinking? We need to get like uh, one of those sweepers to come in. Like it goes from the farmers like right to me. If I get like some sort of like music or bumper, like, hey, good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee with Mark Cook and Busybody. And now, here's Morning Coffee. No? Oh, anyway. <laughs> We're talking to Joe Calicura from Picasso's Pizza. We're having a lot of fun this morning. We're on the verge of 4th of July. We're all feeling a little goofy. I know I only slept for about 45 minutes last night. Biz is ready to take a nap after the show, and we are rocking and rolling here on Morning Coffee. So, Joe, we've talked about Picasso's quite a bit. We've talked about the pizza. We've talked about some of the other stuff you have. And now I want to know if there's anything that I missed or if there's anything that you wanted to talk about specifically about Picasso's or if it's as simple as, please just come and try my food. No, well, yeah, everyone should come and try food. But uh, nah, like I said, we've been in business a long time. We, you know, I enjoy what I do. And when you call up, you're going to get like you know, good customer service. You're going to get a good product. And I always do my best to put a good product out there and take care of the customer. Yeah, and you know what's cool about it is that when you go over to the shop, you're going to meet Joe. He's, he's there. He's the guy. Right. He, he's doing everything. And that's what makes a good owner. I've talked about this before. We want to support businesses that the owner is willing to do any job in the business. And I know that you're type of you're that type of owner. Yeah. And those types of owners are the ones that are the most uh, personally successful, I believe, because they set the tones for their businesses. If you're going to ask somebody to do a task that is not the best task in the world, you have to be willing to do it yourself to prove and set the tone for your restaurant. So what I'm doing is I'm urging people that if you're interested to go down to Picasso's, yep. say, hey, is Joe here? He's gonna pop out and say, hey, I'm right here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, seeing me on Radio Vision and coming in. Maybe, I don't know, get a discount next time on your pizza. <laughs> it's something. Uh, something. So yeah, yeah, you mentioned Radio Vision, it'll yeah. give you 10% off your pizza. That's, that's, that's easy, that's right? That's, that's an that, easy right? thing yeah, to do. Or maybe free so to you want yeah, see, yeah, I'm actually going there right after the show. I'll be there. Really? So. I'll well, do a question before you go to work. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, right. well that's, that's listen. That so I, I basically just threw this on Joe. Now this is a little <laughs> experiment. Right. I don't know if it's going to work. Well, let's see. Now. But here it is. <laughs> it's it's Friday, July first. Yes. Today. If you go into Picasso's, and they're going to be really busy, so I'm, I might be putting a little crunch on them. We'll see what happens. No go to Picasso's, mention this interview, and get 10% off yeah, the pizza, yeah, a regular yeah, pizza. Yeah, we could do that for sure. That's awesome. So, uh, so it, now it's worth it, right, to go it, down there. Just, to, I think it's worth it just to go meet you. But oh, wow. then I get some awesome pizza along with it, and I save a dollar or two on it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's that's great. That 10 off today. That's great. So, you know, I want to mention the websites again. It's uh, PicassosPizzaNJ.com. Yeah. And then Joe also makes these awesome egg rolls that you can get uh, delivered to your home, which is really, really yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. um, you go to GetEggRolls.com, and you can check out uh, all the different egg rolls he has there. So, so let's talk about... Um, you know, we talked about what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what happened? I was just going to clarify. So, is it carry out, delivery? Is it both? Is it one? Yeah, it's ca carry out and delivery. I do have some tables in there. It's a smaller shop, but um, as far as the inside for seating. But uh, I do have ball teams that come after. after yeah, like, uh, oh, that's fun. Because yeah. I was thinking, like, okay, because we have people that are business people. If you have yeah. people that are coming in, especially when you have people coming in from out of town, right. and they want to taste something that's authentic, working lunch. Right. Get some pizza. Yeah, that's some good, some awesome Picasso's. Yeah, yeah. Have that's some fresh made pizza. That's I think that's a wonderful idea. So yeah. I'm glad you yeah, guys delivered. Yeah, we have table. Yeah, we have to deliver, carry out, uh, eat it, cool. whatever you want. Excuse me, that's great. I got a little. Yeah, no, that's that's great. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it because. I know now I want egg rolls. Yeah, well, it's like, well, now I want egg rolls. Now I want pizza. Now I want wings. And he was talking about these big salads. I can I can eat and big salads, right? Oh, yeah, it's eight thirty. Yeah, it's eight thirty. I, I eat salads for breakfast. 
Really? Yeah. Yes, especially I love fruit salad. So, um, so listen, we've, we've gotten to know a lot about you and your business. What do you yeah. like to do when you're not in the shop? <laughs> That's a great question. Are, are you ever not in the shop? Not, not. Yeah, I don't know what I like to do because I'm never not in the shop. Yeah, I I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten what I used to like to do. Sleep's not one of them because I don't no. have much time for sleep. Oh, yeah. No, I like to spend time with my wife and my son, and uh, they get most of my free time. They That's great. Very little that I have. Right. But, um, hang out in the shop. No, well, not yet. He's only 18 months. My wife will bring him out of it. He's playing the dough a little bit. <laughs> yeah. He like wanders around like a maniac. Oh. But yeah, I like to give my wife and my son the majority of my free time. Is she involved in the business or? No. 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 Okay, that's that, that might be better <laughs> that way, right? Right. Yeah. I know that's things... the very beginning when we opened up the second shop, it, uh, about six years ago when we opened up the National Park shop, she did help out a little bit because, like, you know, staffing was a little bit, you know, when you open up something that's like this big, yeah, a lot of chaos. Yeah, there's a lot so, of work yeah, to be she, done. But yeah, but she's she's awesome. And she she jumped right in and helped out. That's great. Cool. Well, I, I, I I think I'd be a little bit mad if you were like, <laughs> yeah, she takes care of the 18 month old and then she comes in the shop and works. No, 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 she works full time. Really? Too. No, we. Oh, she, she does. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow, y'all are busy then. So yeah, so when <laughs> yeah. you're on your days off, you guys exactly. need to connect and. Well, we be, know that yeah. she's gonna be watching, so we're gonna say hello to her real she's quick. And, yeah, she's giving you know, she gave Joe a hard time, and I'm gonna let everybody in. I'm sorry, I'm not. I. I gotta, I gotta mention, she gave you a hard time about which camera to look at. And then I, I, I told you, I was like, listen, I'm the host, I'm here every morning, and I don't know what camera to look at. I'm constantly looking at the wrong camera, so it's, it's okay. Don't worry about a thing. The most important thing is that people get over to Picasso's Pizza and check Joe out and all the great stuff they have over there. So Joe, here it is, business favorite time of the interview. Awesome. Let them know. Great, so this will be clear this time, camera one right there yes, yes. so if you can look there let everybody know about how they can contact you how they can keep in touch with you if you have any social media sites anything like that if you have any events coming up that you want them to know about stay right into camera one Let's go. well like i said you can find us at uh 825 columbia boulevard national park on the web at picasso's pizza nj.com facebook picasso's pizza and uh you can uh, the telephone numbers are all on the on the uh, in, on the website yeah. or the Facebook page. You're already on the internet. Just go to the websites exactly. and check them out, right? It's so right. E it's exactly. so easy. It's a great thing, and, uh, and you know you can get the websites on your smartphones. And, and all also that stuff today, too. like I said, ask, you can either ask for me, ask for Joe personally, or just mention the Radio Vision Network interview and get ten percent off. Boom, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So, so go check them out and support Picasso's Pizza because they're they're great people and. They've got great food, so right. why wouldn't we want to support mm. them, right? Exactly. Yeah, That's no. awesome. Joe, thank you again for coming in. We really well, appreciate it. We'll have you back. We'll start, uh, we're, again, we're going to have Biz throw some, some dough around. Yeah. We, 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 we need you to come back, especially when you get the new menu, so we can taste test some items, maybe before they come out. Ooh, yeah, maybe we do. Yeah. Some trial and error. I'm pretty sure it'll all be like Yeah, yeah I'll bring some menus, yeah. and we'll bring some new, uh, new uh, items. <laughs> this is perfect. We did a little pre-production meeting right here on the air as we were enter <laughs> ending the interview. That's awesome. Exactly. That's it. We'll let you behind the scenes. It's perfect. We're knocking out a lot of things today. His name is Joe Calacura. He is the owner of Picasso's Pizza. Check him out at PicassosPizzaNJ.com. I thank you again, Joe, for coming in. We no, really appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Stick around. We got plenty more coming up for you today on Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network.